of God, which happens to be the last book, the last chapter of um, book two of the book of Psalms. With book of Psalms is divided into five books. It's one of the books of wisdom and songs. It's also one of those powerful, powerful um, uh, poetic books also of the Bible. And we thank God for this, the book of songs and a song of wisdom. Hallelujah. I mentioned another time I will tell you something about the books of the New Testament. And um, the book, the 40th book of the New Testament is Matthew. The 41st book of the New Testament is Mark. Then we have Luke, then we have John, then we have Acts, then we have Romans, then we have 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians. First Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. All those I've mentioned are the letters. And then we have messages on And these ones are basically Hebrews is about faithfulness. Then we have also James, which is about wisdom. If I told you are looking for wisdom, the book of James is the one. Then we have letters from other leaders, that is first John and second John Peter, first Peter, second Peter, first John, second John, third John, and Jude. Then we have the Apocalypse, which is found in the book of Revelation. So that covers the New Testament. The stories about Jesus are the four chapters, four, four different books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and um, John and Acts. So we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 72. Let us commence with uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 23. The word of the Lord says, I received from the Lord what I also, what you also gave unto you. The night the Lord Jesus Christ was betrayed, he took bread. And after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after the supper, he took the cup. And after he had given thanks, he took the cup and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this every time you drink it in remembrance of me. 
For whenever you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And let us pray over the cup and over the bread. Father, we thank you for the cup. We thank you for the bread. We thank you, Lord, for your favor. We thank you for your presence. Lord, as we partake of this Lord's table, we proclaim your death and your resurrection. Particularly, proclaiming your death of our lives and hiding our lives in you, <clears throat> the Lord will be found in you. When you rise up, Lord, we also rise up with you in glory. So, Father, we pray that anything that does not glorify you, that could be resident in my heart, in my mind, my soul, that may not be make me able to stand before you, Lord, and to read out these scriptures for your people, I ask that you cleanse me by the blood of Jesus. As I dedicate these things into your hands, I pray that they will become flesh and they will become blood. In Jesus' name. That will proclaim your Lord's death until you come. In Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Let's partake of the bread together. opportunity Lord even as uh, we come out and just declare your majesty and your power the word of the Lord says welcome my sister Anna the word of the Lord tells us in the book of uh, Psalm 72 and we are going to go in straight and then we're going to, we're going to pray as the Lord helps us we have uh, a lot of reading to do but God is faithful hallelujah it says Psalm 72 of Solomon endure the king with your justice Endure the king with your justice. Endure the king. Endure the king. Endure the king with your justice. This uh, is good to note that this psalm is of Solomon. You're preaching. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Psalm 72 of Solomon. Endure the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness. May he judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the people, the hills, the fruit of righteousness. Verse 4. 
May he defend the, the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May he crush the oppressor. May he endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon, through all generations. Verse 6. May he be like rain falling on a mown field, like wa showers watering the earth. In his days may the righteous flourish and prosperity abound till the moon is no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May the tribes bow, may the desert tribes bow before him. May his enemies lick the dust. Hallelujah. May the kings of Tarshish and of distant shores bring tribute to him. May the kings of Sheba and Seba present him gifts. May all kings bow down to him and all nations serve him. For he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy and save the needy from death. He will rescue them from the oppress from oppression and violence, from press for precious is their blood in his sight. Verse 15. May he live, may he live, long may he live. May gold from Sheba be given him. May people ever pray for him and bless him all day long. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May grain abound throughout the land. On the tops of the hill may it sway. May the crops flourish like Lebanon and thrive like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. Verse 17, may his name endure forever, may it continue as long as the sun, then all nations will be blessed through him, they will call him blessed. Verse 18, Psalm 72, praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel who alone does great marvelous deeds, hey Jesus is Lord, I will now sound the shofar. Psalm 72 verse 18 Praise be to the Lord God the God of Israel who does marvelous deeds Praise be to his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. This concludes the prayers of David, son of Jesse. This is the 72nd book, 72nd chapter of the book of Psalms. And it is actually the second book. We are going to go into book 3 which goes between chapter 73 and chapter 89. We just want to bless the Lord and tell him, Father, if it was not you, we would not have made it this far. You have read book one and book two. You can actually put a badge, put a badge, a good badge on your shoulder and say, by the grace of God, I have come through book one and book two of the book of Psalms consistently for 72 days without missing. That's the grace of God. It is not anything else. It is but the grace of God. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory resets, rests with the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Praying through the storm requires just one thing. And that thing is called focus. We need to focus only on the Lord and staying in his faithfulness. 
need to stay in his faithfulness. Know that God said that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even though you are going through a very difficult moment, you must know that God says, I will never leave you nor forsake, nor forsake you. You could be going through sickness, you could be going through bereavement, you, be going, you could be going through a broken relationship, you could be going through all those kind of things that mark storms. You could be going through financial challenge where God is teaching you stewardship and he's saying, here you did not do it right. Now, my son, I want you to do it here right. I want you to pay your tithe. I want you to give to the poor and the needy. I want you to be able to be a blessing and to shine out for Jesus because God loves you and he loves you with an everlasting love. And as you begin to do these things, God begins to get you, riding you out of the storm. He's going to ride you out of that storm. He's going to ride you. You're riding out through the storm. You're riding out through the storm. Riding through the storm. Riding, riding out through the storm. In the name of Jesus. Because the Lord is at work. The Lord knows about your situation. The Lord knows about your condition. The Lord knows how he's going to get you out. Riding through the storm. He's going to get you out. He's going to get you out. Ride out your storm. He's going to ride out the storm. He's going to ride out your storm. He's going to ride out your storm. I say what the Lord will do. He's ride out your storm. In the book of Mark. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the book of Mark, the book of Mark, in the book of Mark, by the grace of God, hallelujah, we bless the Lord. In the book of Mark, is it chapter 4 or 5? One of those two, let me see. Thank you, precious Lord. <clears throat> it's chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 35. It says, that day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stump, stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples walking up and said, Teacher, you can imagine the storm, water, things you know the boat is rocking everything is rough everything is tough everything is is uh is really really rough and happening behind there you know hallelujah let me just try to get a clip of jesus in the storm hallelujah hallelujah just for you to see exactly at the intensity of how it was he said that jesus was in the stand sleeping on a cushion the disciples the disciples the disciples woke him up and said, Jesus, teacher, don't you care if we drown? Don't you care if we drown? <laughs> when they said that, he got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. Courtesy of the Jesus film, this is Jesus coming the storm. It's not a very long clip. I hope the connection will help me to play it about two minutes. So as Jesus was rebuking the wind and it was completely silent. Yeah, there we go. Is it up? Yes. As they were singing, he fell asleep. Listen to that. Look at that. Oh my God. Hey! Look at the waves. Look at the water. Look at... Look at everybody's afraid. Look at the waves coming. Big waves. My goodness. And he's sleeping on a cushion. Oh my God. He says, Master, look, he's asleep. He wakes up. Yeah. 
creator of the ends of the earth. It's just quiet. 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 Amen. Beloved of the Lord, in the storm, the prayer of faith is what is Jesus is looking for. Verse 40 says, he said to the disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Verse 41, they were terrified and asked one another, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Our Lord Jesus Christ is right with you in the storm. He is right with you in the storm. And you need to ride out through the storm. Ride out through the storm. Because if you do not allow him into your situation, condition, and circumstance, then you are going to be stuck in that squall. I want to encourage you that in, it does not matter how rough the storm is. It does not matter how the waters are even coming into the storm. I want you to notice from the clip we have just watched that before they prayed and said, Master, Master, we are perishing. Master, we are perishing. Before they prayed, Jesus was sleeping on a cushion. Now, a cushion is something that absorbs water. A cushion is something that water will come upon it. But when the Lord is sleeping in the storm, when Jesus was a man, fully man, God never sleeps, he never slumbers. He never sleeps, he never slumbers. When Jesus asked them, why do you have little faith? It's simply because they did not understand the concept that they could just call on the Father. Of, uh, they, could not, they would just call on the Lord and say, Lord, uh, still the storm. Let there be a quietness in the storm. They began to be so afraid. Welcome, Judith. Welcome, Emily Grace. Welcome, Anna. They began to be so afraid, the disciples in Mark chapter 4, verse 30, 30 what? Verse 35 all the way to 41. They were so afraid that they were just all of them wondering, Oh, doesn't you care that we die, we'll perish, we'll perish in this storm? They, you saw from the boat how the boat was rocking and the water was coming in and the waves were so loud and everything was making a lot of noise around the, the disciples here in this time of the storm. But as we pray Psalm 72 today, the word of the Lord says we have to pray through the storm and the scripture tells us clearly how that storm looks like and now we are riding out through it. It says, Endure the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness. May he judge his people with righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the people and the hills, the hills, the fruit of righteousness. We are praying and telling the Lord this thing, say, Father, as I go through this storm, may the mountains bring prosperity to the people and the hills, the righteous, the fruit of righteousness. Now, this looks like just an ordinary statement, but I want to tell you in the realm of the spirit, we have these mountains. In the realm of the spirit, we have these hills. And we want to pray and tell the Lord, Father, as I pray through the storms, May these mountains bring prosperity to your people. May your mountains, Lord, the mountain of the Lord, as I ascend this mountain, Jehovah, I pray, may you bring prosperity. Father God, I pray on this 11th day of the 10th month. Lord God, asking you to send your judgments against the plans of the wicked, destroy their schemes, Lord. Father, every planting of the enemy to try and bring premature death in our family lines, my God, we cancel it, we break it in the name of Jesus. We pray on our father's side, our mother's side, life and not death in the name of the Lord. I want you to pray and tell the Lord, thank you that you're going to intervene in my storm in these prayers. As we are praying these prayers, I want you to pray and tell the Lord, Father, I thank you that you're going to intervene. Rebo Sata Kabazoka. Come on, tell the Lord. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. I want you to pray again and say, let anything, let anything that wants to stand in between me 
and answers to prayer be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that comes to stand between you and answers to prayer, let them be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be removed. Let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I give you glory. Hallelujah. Let the lion of Judah roar. And terrify every planting of the enemy. Let that war cry be heard. Let the lion and the lamb begin to shine out. Let it come begin to shine out. Let it begin to shine out. Lion of Judah, roar! 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 Lion of Judah, roar! And answers to my prayers in the storm. Let it be destroyed. Let it be terrified by the Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. Roar. 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 Lion of Judah. Roar. Lion of Judah. Roar. Lion of Judah. Roar. Lion of Judah. oppressing you in the land. Numbers 10 verse 9. You shall sound a blast on the trumpets and the Lord shall remember you. Raba solo lo lo ya le 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 bo salala re bo salala la la ba solo lo lo re bo lo 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 I want you to pray and say, Lord, I invite you. Lord, I invite you. Lord, I invite you into my storm. Come to my aid in the name of Jesus. Lord, I invite you into my storm. Come into my aid. Come into my aid. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Come to my aid at this time. Come to my aid, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Come on, talk to the Lord. Pray through the storm. Lord, come to my aid. Come to my aid in every difficult situation. Come to my aid in my finances. Come to my aid in my marriage. Come to my aid over my children. Come to my aid, my Father. I invite you, Lord Jesus. I invite you, Christ Jesus. Oh, la ba 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 se kataba yando mo kota la la ro tala ba ze la mo koza re ba la la bo ziti dia ba renda mazoti ki abazota in the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. The word says in verse number four, may He defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May He crush the oppressor. I want you to pray this prayer. And I want you to tell the Lord, I paralyze every architect of conflict and hostility in my home, in my family, in my business. Just talk to God about those things. The ingredients that we have, the ingredients that the Lord has given us, salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. Every accuser of brethren that is upon your life we must crush the oppressor. Whatever the enemy is rising up to do, whatever he's trying to do, trying to bring sicknesses and diseases, untimely deaths and all these things, we pray in the name of the Lord in the storm and we tell the Lord, Father, I paralyze every architect of conflict. I paralyze every architect of hostility in my family. Come on, pray it appropriately in your situation. Come on, talk to God. We are praying in the storm. 
Hey, come on, no, 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 let them scatter. Let them scatter. My king is coming. My king is coming. My king is coming. My king. My king. My king is coming. Yes, he is coming. Yes, you cannot intimidate me. No, you cannot put me down. No, trouble. Hear the word of the Lord. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Lion, roar. 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 Lion of Judah, arise! Hallelujah. 
Listen, we need to pray against, uh, you know, this wicked power that likes to cut off lives of people before their time. We need to pray against untimely deaths and deaths of the young people. This must not continue. Because you, he says, may he endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon, through all generations. May he be like rain falling on the moon field, like showers watering the earth. In his days, may the righteous flourish and the prosperity abound till the moon is no more. I want you to pray for longevity. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 91 verse 16, With long life will he satisfy you and show you his salvation. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your voice before the Lord. If you have your Bible, I want us to pray Psalm 91. If you can open it, I challenge you to memorize Psalm 91. Put it in your spirit so that whenever and every time you get to the midday hour or you get to the midnight hour, you are ready with your weapon. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fuller snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but he shall not come near you, Kevin. He shall erebo kata, resete, yambo zakaya. Yes, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but he shall not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm, no harm shall befall you. No disaster shall come near your tent. For he shall command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, Lucky Poteca in Pretoria. You will tread upon the great lion and the serpent. Yes, Felista, you will tread them down. You will crush them, Emily, in the name of the Lord. You will destroy all the lions and cobra. Yes, that have been standing in the life of Joki. Hear the word of the Lord. Every lion, every cobra in your family line, in the name of the Lord, we tread upon the lion and the cobra. We trample the great lion and the serpent. Yes, my Lord, we pray in the storm, in the life of Pauline, in the family of Pauline. My Lord, arise. Scatter the planting of the enemy. Scatter the planting of the enemy. We make intercession in the nations of the earth. My God, we pray, even over nations, Lord, we call on your name. We tread on the lions and the cobra. Over Kenya, over Nairobi, over Mombasa, over Kisumu, over the 47 counties. Lord, because it is prophetic what you did and allowed Kenya to have 40 and seven counties my father we call on your name because it's not in any way in vain that whenever we press on in prayer you always hear we remember our our friend peter damberry in kerenyaga we cover him with the blood of jesus we thank you my lord help him lord help the governors of kerenyaga minister to kerenyaga shine your light over that county in the name of the lord Remember my God, even my Senator Mutula in Makweni. Remember his God, the Governor Kibwana. Lord, remember the President of Kenya. Remember his Deputy Ruto. My Father, we pray every storm, every storm that the enemy has brought. Lion of Judah, march, march majestically. Roar, Lion of Judah. 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 Roar. Raw, 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 land of Judah, 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 raw, 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 
With long life, will it satisfy you and show you his salvation? The Lion of Judah is at work. Proverbs, 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 chapter 10. The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son, brings joy to his father, but a foolish son brings grief to his mother. Two, ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value, but righteousness delivers from death. Verse number three, the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Verse four, lazy hands make for poverty. But diligent hands bring wealth. Lazy hands make for poverty. But diligent hands bring wealth. Hallelujah. <laughs> he who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son. But he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. Verse 6. Blessings crown the head of the righteous. But violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked. Verse 7. The name of the righteous is used in blessings, but the name of the wicked will rot. Verse 8. The wise in heart accept commands, but a chattering fool comes to ruin. Proverbs 10 verse 9. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Verse 10. Whoever winks maliciously, maliciously, causes grief, and a chattering fool comes to ruin. 11. Ten of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Proverbs 10 verse 12. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all wrongs. Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod for the back of the one who has no sense. Verse 14, Proverbs 10. The wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool invites ruin. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city, but poverty is the ruin of the poor. Verse 16, the wages of the righteous is life, but the earnings of the wicked are sin and death. Whoever heeds correction, whoever heeds discipline, shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Verse number 18, Proverbs 10. Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and, and spreads slander is a fool. Let me tell you, the Bible describes the person that does not uh, acknowledge there is a God. A person who spreads slander is mentioned as a fool according to Proverbs chapter 10, verse number 18. You must underscore this and be very careful with what you say, especially about your political leaders. People in America, I warn you again, I tell you, Christians in America, disconnect your heart from soul ties with politicians. Because the moment you start talking something about a politician that you do not know, you are slanderous and you are sending slander and you are being called a fool by the Proverbs. You need to understand that if you have not verified a matter, do not talk about it. Do not mention it. Do not say it. Do not say anything about President Trump if you don't know it's true. If you don't know the truth about it, do not mention it. Do not speak about it. Do not talk about it. Do not even think about it. Because it is important for you to know that God has made it possible for us to be able to get wisdom. He says whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. If at all you allow your heart to be darkened, it is like dropping black ink into a clear solution. It will totally mess up the, the clear solution. You need to understand something. You cannot be praying and then at the same time you are hating your brother. You cannot be praying at the same time you are still harboring anger issues in your spirit. It is not possible. It is not possible. 
The things that we hold on so dearly and keep into our hearts are the things that you need to let go. We need them to let go. It doesn't matter how hard they hurt you, my dear mom. It doesn't matter how bad it was in that other relationship. That someone even hit you with a rock. Someone hit you. Somebody wanted to kill you. You know it very well. But when you come before the Lord, there is a reason why you must be alive today. There is a reason why you are still living. There is a reason why your heart is still beating. There is a reason why God has preserved your life. Because God has preserved you, your life, my brother. You need to know it is time for you to dedicate yourself to God. Don't conceal hatred with lying lips. Clearly, do not go for a meeting. Do not go for a meeting. Don't. Don't go for that meeting. Don't. Be open. No, I cannot attend the meeting. Just tell them clearly. Don't lie to them. Don't conceal hatred with lying lips and spread slander. Because when you spread slander, you are a fool. Whether you are a PhD, you are a doctor, you are a professor, you are respected, you are a honorable, you are a governor, you are whatever. As long as you are sitting there as a politician, then you are harboring and concealing hatred in your heart with lying lips. And then you go and speak something negative about that same person that you are greeting hands with. You are a fool, says the word of God. We are praying through the storm. Hey, I hear the lion. Hey, my Lord. My precious friends, you should come to Kenya if you've never been here. You need to see the lion in its glory. You need to see the lion. You need to see it walk. You need to see it walk. You need to see how the lion walk. Even in South Africa, you can go to Lucky Potica in Pretoria. We have some lions there. You see how the lion just walks, you know, majestically. Nothing stands in its way. The lion is just moving. The lion is just moving. The lion is just moving. The lion is moving. When it roars, it does not make any... It just roars. And everybody around it just runs away. If you have never been next to a lion, I have been to next to lions for a long time with my camera, not in physical form. And I must tell you that lions are majestic creatures. When you come, when the Lord uh, likens himself to a lion, he does not say the Lord is a lion. Because there are also people who now turn to start worshipping these lions. Verse 10, chapter 10 of verse 18 says, Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. If you have any political differences with somebody, you should not in any way conceal your hatred for the person. That's why you need to disconnect every soul tie. America, listen to me. I hear and I see your timelines. Some of you are writing very, very serious problems. You are writing things about President Trump because you are connected to other things that other politicians are saying. And because you are saying those things, listen to me, you are walking in foolishness. Because the word of God is giving us wisdom that if you conceal hatred with lying lips and spread slander, you are a fool. Disconnect yourself. Ah, this one we must pray. Tell the Lord. Lord. Hey! My heart conceals hatred, my father. I have come. Hey, my Lord. I have come as a fool that needs wisdom, Father. Lion, roar. Roar, lion. Roar in my life. Roar in my life. That I may not walk in slander. That I may, walk, that I may not walk in foolishness. My Lord, I pray, cleanse my heart from hatred. Cleanse my heart from hatred. Oh, I disconnect myself from evil soul ties with politicians, evil soul ties with people, with past lovers, with products, with, with, uh, with places, evil soul ties with material things, cars and buildings. My Father, my God. Hallelujah. Visit my heart. Visit the temple. Visit this temple. Father, visit it. I am willing. Break it. 
destroy it, overturn the tables in this temple that have been not glorifying you. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, roar, 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 roar. I will not have lying lips. I will not walk in deceit. I will not love lying lips. I will not slander with my tongue. This is not a message for you. It is my message. I don't know about you, but this is my message. This is my message. I'm telling the Lord, Father, these lips, they will not lie. This heart will not conceal hatred in the name of the Lord. Come on, pray for yourself. Invite the lion. Invite him. Invite him. Invite him. Invite him. Pray. Tell the Lord. Roar in my life. Roar, my father. <laughs> brother for sharing this in Zulu. God bless you. Proverbs 10 verse 19. Sin is not ended by multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongues. In the storm you must hold your tongue. In the storm you must hold your tongue because the moment you speak in the storm, you must speak the words of the Lord. If it is sickness, get all the scriptures about healing and only speak those ones. Even when people come to see you in a hospital bed and you are painful, you are feeling pain, just say he was, uh, by his stripes have been healed. Don't say, oh, naskia mugongo ina uma munini nini. Tell that to the doctor so that he knows what's happening to you. But to the rest of the people, tell them about the word of God. About your finances, do not confess, oh, this problem, this what out. Corona scam taken, no, 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 no. You need to say what the word says. It says the Lord shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory. I got a deadline, my Lord, but I know you are not going to put me to shame. You are not going to put me to shame. You will come, prison doors, blocking my divine benefits. I open you with the key of David. Speak it in the name of the Lord. Open the rebo cassette kaseka. There are those that have been shut. They have been shut because some of your words, because of some of the things you are saying, because of some of the things you believe. You believe impossible. To give you possibility. You must have possible thinking. You must believe God. In one day, God can turn it around. In one day, a nation was born. In one day, the nation of Israel came together on May 14th, 1948. The Lord brought it together. He fulfilled it together. The Lord allowed it together. Sin is not ended by multiplying words. Sickness is not ended by multiplying words. Provision is not ended by multiplying words. But the prudent hold their tongue. You need to understand, you need to put some breaking system in your speaking. You need to hold, if at all you are going to speak anything, speak the word of God. Especially if you are on the phone. Hey, my friend. If you are on the phone, open your Bible and just begin to speak to somebody from Matthew chapter 5. Open your Bible and just begin to speak to somebody from Ephesians 1. Just open your Bible. Don't tell him the Bible says, mm -mm. just start talking, just start talking. Just start telling them. Start speaking to them. Start telling them those things. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit. 
You should listen to Pastor Celeste when she's talking to you. You may not understand she's actually talking the word of God, but she will be there talking in a nice, calm way, and you are not understanding what she's saying is actually the Bible that she's reading for you. And you will not understand. You will be caught up by the wonderful voice you are listening to. But in there, you are listening to the word of God. I say, live by the Spirit. And you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit. And the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other so that you do not, want, you do, not do what you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under law. The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality impurity welcome judy welcome hallelujah sexual immorality impurity debauchery idolatry and witchcraft hatred discord jealousy fits of rage selfish ambition these are things that you can put in your conversation or if you are in zondo unezindebe Zamanga ofumisa. Inhelo oisuola in the Zulu. The word of the Lord, Proverbs 10, verse 18. Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. So before you talk about that brother, that sister, please verify. And make sure that the reason why you are speaking those words is to edify somebody, to build up somebody. If at all you want to tell me anything that is going to show me how the other person is evil and wicked, then you do not speak. Do not speak. Do not speak it. We are praying. The lion is here. The lion, the lion, the lion is here. The lion of Judah is here. The lion of Judah is roaring. In Romans chapter 14, verse 19, it says this, Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. This is something that we must do. Make an effort. Make an effort. Make an effort. Do not allow what you consider good. My precious beloved, this day, as the Lord has allowed us to gather together to hear these words, we are praying. We are talking to God. We are telling God things. We are mentioning things. We are saying, God, overrule and overturn my tables inside your heart your heart itself they are inside there they are traders who are busy buying and selling inside your heart your heart they are the temple of the lord the house of the lord listen isaiah 56 let me show you that scripture very quickly we must pray ah we must pray it says in verse 10 ah not that one it says house of prayer what does it say Isaiah 56 verse 7 says, This I will bring to my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of prayer. In your storm, find the joy of the Lord. It does not matter how difficult it is. Just know one thing. Even if the storm is about death, death also has no sting when you're in Jesus Christ. If it is about sickness, sickness was, was defeated on the cross of Calvary. If it's about lack and poverty, understand something. Jesus was in very nature man. He was in very nature God, but he considered it not robbery. He put it down, came down as a man, was born, and he exchanged his riches. You can imagine heaven. The crystal. In heaven, there is no mining for gold. In heaven, there is no measuring gold. In heaven, there is no have this small piece of tiny little ring and put it on your ring finger as gold. In gold, in heaven, it's a street, ladies and gentlemen. Street. Whole street made of gold. Not covered, not overlaid, but made of pure gold. 
The foundation of the city of Jerusalem is on the 12 stones of the, of the, of the 12 apostles. The precious stones. The, pre the precious stone for, for Paul is diamond. Hey, do some study. I will not go deep into that. Make every effort. Make every effort. Make every effort. Make every effort to do that leads to peace. Do not lips. Do not spread slander. Do not talk about your president. I am telling you again. These people that are bloggers and vloggers and all these people that are looking for views by talking about other people. The Bible calls them fools. I'm sorry you are getting ratings and all these things. This has to be told clearly to you. If you're a Christian blogger, do not thrive on slander. Don't try that. If you try that, the Bible puts you automatically in the fool's corner. It does not matter how well blessed and you are, what kind of a pastor you are, bishop, whatever, as long as you're talking about somebody else, even if it's another political party that you do not support, don't talk about the political party people. Talk about your values, the things you are selling, and your leadership. Whatever you're going to lead the people to do in your ward, in your constituency, in your county, tell those people those things. Avoid hatred that you are concealing with lies. Avoid speech that is slanderous. Slander is saying something that is not correct. And that is why I do not share with Christians my past. I personally made that determination. I will not share my past stories with Christians that are born again. I will not tell them. Why? Because the moment you tell them, I used to be a drunkard just one day. Tomorrow, they will be on the altar. Oh, this is the pastor who used to be drunk. This is the pastor who used to kill people and then sell their heads to the demons. This is wicked slander. You do not need to do those kind of testimonies. Leave them alone. You don't qualify because you are a murderer. You don't qualify because you are a thief. I can have been born in a temple, grown in Jesus Christ all my life, and you're not going to be more, more blessed, more saved, because you are a murderer and then you go saved. No, it doesn't work like that. I need to tell you what is the truth, because the truth must set you free, and it has to set me free. It's a journey. We are going together. The horse is saddled. It's ready for the day of battle. But the victory rests with the Lord. This is the thing that we must say. This is the thing we must tell ourselves. That you must tell yourself, protect the hearers of your testimony. But when I find the people, when I'm doing my missions, and I find the people in a situation that looks like me when I was not saved, I will talk to that soul. Within two minutes, my testimony will crush the enemy. The person will get saved. If it is not for edification, it is not necessary. Sin is not ended by multiplying words. Sin is not ended by multiplying words. The prudent hold their tongue. Listen to verse 20. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. Oh, Lord, give me a golden heart. Help me, Lord. Give me a heart of value. Hallelujah. Come on, pray to you. Pray to the Lord. Lion! 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 Roar! Roar! Give me a precious heart. Lord, give me a precious heart. A heart that does not have slander. A heart that is able to love you, Lord. Lord, I pray, help me for a heart that completely trusts in the storm. For a heart that says that it is going to be possible and it must be possible. My Father, a heart that does not fear. Come on, repent over those slanderous things you have been doing. Tell the Lord to forgive you. Tell the Lord to cleanse your heart. Tell the Lord to cleanse your eyes. Tell the Lord to cleanse your ears. 
Slander must die. Hey, my father. Raw lion. 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 Raw in my life. Raw in my family. Raw in my business. Raw lion of Judah. Raw lion of Judah. Scatter the wicked. Scatter the Scatter the hardness of heart. Oh, la, ba, 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 ba. Speak to my storm, my father. Every storm. Every storm. Hey! For lack of sense. In another translation, it says that fools die for lack of wisdom. We need to pray. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Verse 22. Brings wealth. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no sorrow with it. This is uh, Proverbs 10 verse 22. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray in the name of the Lord. Every wealth stolen from you when you are a baby, repossess it in the name of Jesus. I repossess it. I repossess it. I repossess it. I repossess it. I also want you to pray and command every stronghold of inherited poverty in your life to be pulled down. Pulled down. Pulled down in the name of Jesus. You will rise and rise, not rise and fall. You will rise and rise and rise and rise and rise. No falling in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. I prophesy over you. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow. As you're praying in the storm, ha. Huh, Yes, the deadline is coming. It doesn't matter. The Lord is saying it. You will do it. You will do it. I'm not moving. He's coming. He's coming. He's there. The lion is coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Who can stand before him? Who can stand? Yes, come, my Lord. Come, my Lord. Raw. 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 Raw, my Lord. Lion of Judah. Raw in my situation. Raw in my situation. Raw in my condition. Raw in my circumstance. Raw. Raw, my father. Lord, every kind of inherited poverty. Oh, la 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 bossa, la 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 bossa. Oh, la la bossa, la la bossa. La 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 bossa, la la bossa. Oh, my God. Every stronghold of inherited poverty in my life. We pull down. Be pulled down. Be pulled down. Be pulled down. Be pulled down. Yes, lion. Yes, lion. Yes, lion. Raw. Lion of Judah. Much. Much. Much out. Much out into my storm. Much out into my storm. Much out into my storm. 
months out into my storm. against your life be destroyed in the name of Jesus be destroyed in the name of Jesus be destroyed in the name of Jesus every evil power of your father's house working to put you in sickness working to put you in debt working to put you in poverty working to put you in uh, uh, in accidents and untimely death uh, every evil power of your father's house I decree death upon that wicked power in the name of Jesus. Let the lion roar in the name of Jesus. Psalm 72. Proverbs chapter 10. We are now on verse 23. A fool finds pleasure in wicked schemes, but a person of understanding delights in wisdom. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the righteous desire will be granted. Do you understand this? What the righteous desire will be granted. Yes, my sister Celeste, thank you for sharing about that. The Lord touches the heart and examines the mind. The heart, the place, the, ve the temple. Today, everybody is looking nice and holy, going to church, wearing their mask, looking holy. Kabisa, holy, holy. Following the government directive, but you are not following the biblical directive. You are not following the word of God. You are not listening to what the word of the Lord says. Let me tell you, God is not an on and off button. God works and operates in the hearts of men. And we are gaining a heart of wisdom. That's why we must pray and pray and pray. We must talk to God and talk to God and talk to God. By day 72, I am expecting the Lord is already overturning things in our lives. Bitterness and anger is living. People that we have not forgiven, we are forgiving. People that we have said we can never have the same meal with them on the same table, you are going to be the one to pay their lunch bill. Because God has come into your life and you discover that the things that you have hold so dear are all meaningless and are chasing after the wind. Now it is a time for you to please God with your life. Listen what the word of the Lord says. What the wicked will dread, what the wicked dread will overtake them. 
what the righteous desire will be granted. You will be sought after in the name of the Lord. I decree and declare, you will be sought after in the mighty name of the Lord. I decree and declare, you will be sought after. Because the word of the Lord says, the righteous desire will be granted. My desire, my father, is to, de I desire, I desire, I desire the heart of an overseer. I desire the heart of a bishop. I desire the one in the Bible, not in the title. Not in the title, no. The one in the book of Timothy. The one, hey, Jesus. The one who desires this makes God honorable. Makes God to be honored. Let me read for you. In the book of, uh, sec, uh, the, is it second or first? First Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. He says, here's a trust what he's saying. If anyone sets his heart on being an overseer, he desires a noble task. I want you to know that desiring to be an overseer is something you can do without even going to be called a bishop by somebody. Desiring to be a bishop is a noble task. So as you connect your heart to God, desire desire because the word of the Lord says the righteous desire will be granted the righteous desire will be granted here is a trust what he's saying if anyone sets his heart Lucy Gashomba welcome my sister if here is a trust he's saying if anyone sets his heart on being an overseer he desires a noble task if you are setting your heart to be an overseer, it is a desire from the Lord for you to set your heart towards him. Be able to do what? To be respectable, self-controlled, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. These are things that we must align our lives to. When you find yourself in, a, in your business, you are doing a trade transaction with somebody and the person is arguing with you about the price, what you need to do is remind yourself, I am not quarrelsome. My product goes for this price. I am not a lover of money. This is the price. If the person is busy trying to come at you with their clothes, they will find that you are not in that area because you are not a lover of money. You are not a lover of money. Lover of money and quarrelsome go together. The lovers of money are always quarrelsome. This is something you must know. The lovers of money are always quarrelsome. If you find somebody who is quarrelsome, who is violent, money. Is if you find a person who is quarrelsome, he's a lover of money. Hey, do you get that one? If you find a person who is given to drunkenness, he's a lover of money. Why? Because these are the things that we are told for you to be an overseer. You must be above reproach. You must be able to love uh, your, your husband or your wife. You must be temperate. You must be self-controlled. Now, the opposite of these things is, is equals to the lover of money. Because the lover of money is the last one we are told. And listen to this. He says, one, he must be a husband of but one wife. Meaning that to set your heart to be an overseer, you must set your heart on also being faithful in your family life. You must be temperate. Titus chapter 1 verse 7 also says something. It says, since an overseer is entrusted with God's work, he must be blameless not overbearing, not quick-tempered, not giving to drunkenness, not violent, not pursuing dishonest gain. Do you know God knows about dishonest gain? Do you know even if you hide the name of your company and call it something else 
and begin to trade with the church because it is your company and you are the pastor. You bring now your company to start trading with the church and getting funds from the church to your company, using your company. And you are doing it for dishonest gain. If it's a good service you are providing through your company, no problem. But if I told you are doing it wickedly, God is seeing your heart. Verse 25, we must move on. We are praying today. The lion of Judah is roaring. Yes. Now listen to this. Listen to this. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone. But the righteous stand firm forever. As you pray in the storm, I want you to know this. As you pray in the storm, I want you to know this. That when the storm has passed by, when the storm has passed by, the wicked will be gone, but the righteous will stand forever. I want you to pray. Tell the Lord, I stand in the storm. I stand. I stand. I stand. I stand. I will not fall. Lion of Judah, roar, blast the shofar, sound the alarm. Stand in the storm, stand in the storm, stand in the storm, stand firm. Stand firm forever. Stand firm forever. I will stand firm. I will stand firm. In this storm is our pass. My God. I will stand firm. I will stand firm. I will stand firm. Yes, my Lord. I stand firm. In this storm. I stand firm. In this storm. I stand firm. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stand firm. I stand firm. I stand firm. I stand firm in this journey. I stand firm. Yes, my Lord. The wicked will be swept away, but the righteous will stand firm forever. We stand firm forever. I stand firm forever. Every ribosa la boca. Every Every powers in the darkness. Every powers in the heavens. Every powers of darkness in the heavens. Release my star. In the name of the Lord, I will shine. As the stars don't struggle to shine, I will not struggle to shine. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As the stars don't struggle to shine, as the stars don't struggle to shine, you will not struggle to shine in the name of Jesus, Anna. You will not struggle to shine. Judy, you will not struggle to shine. You will not struggle to let go of malice and anger and all those wicked things in Colossians chapter 3. You will not struggle to disconnect yourself from anything that entangles you. You will not struggle to disconnect yourself from sin. You will not struggle because the lion is here. The lion. The lion. The lion. The lion. The Proverbs 10 verse 26. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so are sluggards to those who send them. If you send a lazy messenger, it is like smoke to your eyes and vinegar to your teeth. Verse 27. The fear of the Lord adds to life and the years of the wicked are cut short. We pray that the years will, our years will not be cut short because the Lord will watch over us. The prospect of the righteous is joy, but the hopes of the wicked 
come to nothing. 29. The way of the Lord is a refuge for the blameless, but it is the ruin, it is the ruin of those who do evil. Proverbs 10 verse 30. The righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not remain in the land. Here is another prayer. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, adjust my life to divine abundance. Adjust my life to divine abundance. That you will now even increase. You had only one fridge, but you love to, uh, to buy a deep freezer and buy another fridge because the abundance the Lord is bringing your way. You will need to store a lot of food. The Lord is blessing, blessing, blessing. Blessing, 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 blessing. Blessing, 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 blessing. Blessing, 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 blessing. Blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow. It adds no sorrow to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I may be going through the storm, but the word of the Lord says, the righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not remain in the land. Father God, when the storm has swept away, the wicked are gone, but the righteous shall stand firm forever. I stand firm forever, my Lord. Yes, my Father, I call in divine abundance from the rising, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Yes, every strong man of failure at the edge of my breakthrough, be arrested in the name of Jesus. Be arrested in the name of Jesus. Every strong man at the edge of my breakthrough. Be arrested in the name of the Lord. Be arrested. Right now, I command every kind of breakthrough to be released to my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray and command every breakthrough that you have ordained for your servants. Let it locate them now in the name of Jesus. Locate them now. Locate them now. Locate them now. Locate them now. Locate them now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let it locate them in the name of the Lord. Let it locate them. Proverbs 10, 31. From the mouth of the righteous comes the fruit of wisdom, but a perverse tongue will be silenced. Perverseness will not be near my tongue. Proverbs 10, 32. The lips of the righteous know what finds favor, but the mouth of the wicked only what is perverse. Some of these social media sites have turned Christians into speaking English. Because you go, you find it's a TikTok and you say, ah, let me try this TikTok. And the person that is speaking those things was a perverse mouth person. You take you put it on your timeline and you put you think it's innocent you think it's okay for you to just post anything let me tell you everything you post if right now you wanted to see how powerful your post is if you were to post something that that says i have 20 kilos of explosives and i want to destroy kenya at 12 pm hey my friend you would know that these words you write here are not just for your friends to read that's when you would know. Words are powerful. You don't just speak anything. Even when you are joking, don't joke anything. <laughs> I, I, I thank God for Dr. Joseph, uh, the, the head of Texico, is it toxicology and poisons. Yes, he's the one also there in Meru uh, Hospital. My good friend, my good, good friend, Joseph Mukundi. Wonderful, wonderful man of God. May you drink deep from the well of salvation. For you are, your name, Joseph, is of the Lord. I pray. This my brother, we used to do a lot of Bible study when he was doing his internship. Uh, and uh, at that time I was with him. And um, I thank God because we used to make some jokes, but the jokes were biblical until we would just find ourselves say we are too much now. We are making jokes from the Bible. So find some humor in God's word. It is there, a lot of it. You want me to give you an example? I will. Let me read Ecclesiastes because we must move on. Time is running. Time is running. Time is running. We must finish. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Ship your grain across the sea 
After many days, you may receive a return. Invest in seven ventures, yes, in eight. You do not know what disaster may end, may come upon the land. Verse 3. If clouds are full of water, they pour rain on the, on the earth. Where a tree falls to the, whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Verse 4. Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. Verse 5. As you do not know the path of the wind or how the body is formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the makers of all things. So stop understanding God with your head. The Greeks try that a lot. There are two types of mentality. There's a Hebrew mentality and the Greek mentality. The Hebrew mentality looks to this. Only where is the God? Where is God for us to adore? But the Greeks wanted to understand God with their minds. Cannot understand the work of God. Just stop it. <laughs> Not understand why I blow a shofar. Don't stop. Just don't, don't understand it. Just, just know it is of the Lord. And it is biblical. Numbers 10 and 9. But it is not supposed to be a religion or a church practice that the sofa now is held as sacred. This ram's horn has no power. When we meet, I ask me if I'll give you, you hold it, you see it. And you sanitize your hands, of course. I'll not just give it to you like that. He says this, So as you do not know the path of the wind, or how the body is formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. So you are seed in the morning. And at, in the evening, let your hands not be idle. Mm -hmm. For you do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, whether both will do equally well. Receive wisdom, my sister Emily. Receive it. Receive it. Remember your creator while young. Light is sweet, and it pleases the eyes to see the sun. However, many years one may live, let them all, let them enjoy them all. Let them enjoy them all. Let them remember the days of darkness, for there will be many. Everything to come is meaningless. Even the latest phone that is coming is meaningless. By the way, I need to change the one I have right now. I need to get to a new one now. It's time, you know. But that one is meaningless as well. It's meaningless. Eh? It's meaningless. State of the art, the best of the best of the best I will have. Why? Because my father longs to give me good things. I don't need to pray and fast and say, God, I need a phone, I need a phone. The Lord will bring it. And he brings it, and I will show it to you here. We prayed here, and the Lord gave us a wonderful ministry camera that we are able to take pictures when we go out there. We bless the Lord, because it is also helping me in my work. I bless the Lord for that. And soon we are going to improve the live coverage. We are going to book three now. We need to upgrade. So we, we need to get, you know, I can have some messages going through here, showing you what we have been doing in Mission Monday, showing you testimonies, eh, training you, giving you part of my screen here. All this is meaningless, but we are going to do these meaningless things because they are good. We are still alive in the Lord. Listen to verse 9. You who are young, be happy while you are young. And let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart and whatever your eyes see. But know that all these things God will bring you into judgment. So then, banish anxiety from your heart. Cast off troubles from your body. For youth and vigor are meaningless. Ask us, we know. <laughs> yes, we are elders now by the grace of God. But we are, we are youth in the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah, Sister Anna. Glory to God. My sister Judy, I see you waving at the back there. <laughs> Glory to God. My sister Felista, cast off, banish anxiety from your heart. Tell these things to the Lord and say, Father, I banish anxiety from my heart listen to that 
We must pray that prayer point. Hold on to it. Banish anxiety. Where is my book? I need to write these things down. No, there's a thing here. There's a long list here I've written about things God is doing. And every day we must write in the book. Because God will answer the things we are praying about. We are praying about the storm. We are praying about the storm. Hey, hey. Glory to God. Praying through the storm. Praying in the storm. And one thing the Lord is saying, banish anxiety from your heart. Ask the Lord for a precious heart. Not meaningless. And of no value. Like a fool. Do not conceal hatred with lying lips. Banish anxiety. Banish anxiety. Speak it in your life. That situation that you're going through, that storm in your body, banish that anxiety from your heart. Cast off the troubles of your body. Cast off the troubles of your body. This is a prayer for sickness, disease, poverty, any kind of strong man of failure, the edge of your, edge of your breakthrough, they must go. Isaiah 41. This one now is the one that I love in the book of Isaiah. Ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready. In ya highlight yote. This one is for highlighting the whole chapter. This is not a joke. Isaiah 41, Isaiah 40 is not a joke. Power, fire, 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 fire is here. Huh. I love how the Lord just brings the topic and then when we read the scripture, the topic is aligned with the scripture. What a powerful God we serve. Isaiah 41. Be silent before me, you islands. Let the nations renew their strength. Let them come forward and speak. Let us meet together at the place of judgment. Verse 2. Who has stirred up one from the east, calling him in righteousness to his service? He hands nations over to him and subdues kings before him. He turns them to dust with his sword, to wind-blown chaff with his blow. He pursues them and moves on and scatters. By a path his feet have, and have not traveled before. Verse 4. Who has done this and carried it through, calling forth the nations from the beginning? I love this one here. Yeah. I, the Lord, will be the with the first of them and with the last. I am he. Isaiah 41 verse 5. The islands have seen it and fear. The ends of the earth tremble. They approach and come forward. They help each other and say to their companions, Be strong. Verse 7. The metal worker encourages the goldsmith. And the one who smooths with the hammer spurs on the one that strikes the anvil. One says to the wielding, it is good. The other nails down the idol so it will not topple. But you, Israel, my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners I called you. I said you are my servants. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. Verse number 10. So do not fear, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing, will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God 
who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Verse 14. Do not be afraid, you warm Jacob. Little Israel, do not fear, for I am I myself will help you, declares the Lord, the Redeemer of the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Verse 15. See, I will make you into a threshing sledge, new and sharp, with many teeth. You will thresh the mountains and crush them, and ready and reduce the hills to chaff. You will winnow them, the wind will pick them up, and a gale will blow them away. But you will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. Verse 17. The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst, but I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Verse 18, I will make rivers flow on barren heights and springs within the valleys. I will turn the desert into pools of water and the past ground into springs. I will put the desert, the cedar and the acacia, the myrtle, the myrtle and the olive. I will set junipers in the westlands, the fir and the cypress together, so that people may see and know, may consider and understand that the land of the Lord has done it. The hand, the Holy One of Israel has created it. Verse 21. Present your case, says the Lord. I told you this one will highlight the whole chapter. So when you meet my Bible looking like a coloring book, you know what happened. Because this is fire. It needs to be recorded today that we appeared here and we read it and I lighted it. And one day my son will get hold of this Bible and it will speak to him. And I also write a date on it. The word of the Lord came to me saying, and I highlighted it and underlined it and I put it together and I will go on and pray it. Listen to verse 21. Present your case, says the Lord. Set forth your arguments, says Jacob's king. When you come to pray, present your case before the Lord. You need to set forth your arguments. The arguments are such as this. You are looking at a situation where you are seeing you have great, great talent. You have studied. You have your degrees. You have your papers. You have your experience. You have everything. And then you are trying to get a job. It's not happening. Beloved of the Lord, as you come to pray, this is how you pray. And this is how you must pray. This is how you pray. Every buried virtue of my life come out by fire. Why? Because the word of the Lord has said, present your case. You know that God has spoken about your blessings. He said, the blessings of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow. Was that degree a blessing? Yes. Was the school fees hard to get? Yes. Was it provided for by the Lord? Yes. Did you finally graduate? Yes. So if you have already gone through the battles of all those things, now that COVID-19 came and the COVID-19 pandemic things, you need to know that you don't sit back and just say, like yesterday I met a young man and I know God is going to save him. God is going to save him. I didn't have much time with him, but he read for me the scripture. He was looking completely confused in drugs and everything, funny looking hair, looking totally confused, totally confused. And I did not judge him. 
But I knew this person. The virtues are buried by the enemies. So, Emily, prosper in the land. In America, in Kenya, everywhere you go, prosper. Sister Judy. Don't just wait. Prosper in the land. My brother Lucky, in Pretoria, prosper in the land. Come on, begin to go. Fill yourself with the word of God. Pray, 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 pray. Read the word of God. Memorize it. Put it in your spirit. So that when you talk to people, you are not telling them the Bible says, but you are just telling them the word of God. You just begin to open your mouth and begin to tell them things that are the word of God. Without saying that Jesus is saying, no. You tell them exactly the story. Tell them stories. Tell them the stories. Tell them the stories about making every effort to enter through the narrow door because many, I tell you, will try and enter and will not be able to. That is Luke chapter 13, verse number 22. Listen. Then Jesus went through the towns and the villages, teaching them as he made the way. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? Listen in what he said. He said in verse 24, he said to them, and this is what now you... Memorize these words, and when you're talking to people, you tell them these words. Look for their Bible with the red letters, and talk to people from the red letters, and tell me what will begin to happen to people. The words of Jesus cannot go and fall on the ground. The Bible cannot fall on the ground. Even if you just use one word, he said to them. If you just use that one word, it's in the scripture. Is it listed as scripture? He said to them. You say that word, he said to them. And start a statement, you will not be ordinary. God will translate that into something spiritual. Every full stop, comma, spacing, everything in the word of God is spirit. You need to understand the words of Jesus are spirit and they are life. Reba Kozata. You need to get such a hunger for this God... That you are looking for words of God only to fill your head. You don't have time to fill your head with radio words. I'm sorry I have radio friends. Radio announcers, radio personalities. But I'm telling you for free. Even them, they don't listen to the radio. I am commanding you and you need to know. The people in the radio, they don't listen to it. They don't. The people on TV, they don't watch it. Listen to them. Talk to them. They are here, my friends. Some of them are TV casters. They don't watch the news. They read it, but they don't watch it. Why? Because those words are words of men. But when we tell you the words of God, Jesus said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door. Because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house says, well, the owner, once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. Open the door for us. Open the door. But he will say, I don't know you. Where you come from? Then you will say, We ate and drank with you, and you taught us in our streets. But he will reply, I do not know you. Where you come from? Away from me, all evil doers. Verse 28, they will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out, people will come from east and west and north and south and will take their places at the feast, at the feast in the kingdom of God. Instead, there are those who are last who will be first, and, they are, and the first will be last. This is a profound, profound parable of the Lord. The narrow door. So enter. Make every effort. The door is small, but enter the door. The door is not big. It is narrow. Enter through the door. As you enter through that door, just enter. The people are walking outside. They are looking like they are having fun. Eh? You, you are born again. You think like your life is not tested. It's not sweet. But I want to assure you something. Every kind of alcoholic drink leaves you with a hangover. Do you know why? Let me tell you why. It's because drunkenness is a work of the flesh. Drinks like alcohol and drugs, they take you into the realm of the spirit 
where you experience a feeling of good feelings, happiness, joy, laughter. Somebody who smokes pot or weed or marijuana, they will laugh at absolutely everything, you know? And that's why you see a lot of murderers smoke that thing. Because they'll be killing somebody and they don't feel any emotion. They'll see somebody die and they'll say, Hey, that guy was hit so hard. Ha 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 ha. Their spirit man has been manipulated by the evil spirit and it leaves. That's why the person who uses drugs, when they stop using drugs, they begin to have what we call withdrawal symptoms. Those are not withdrawal symptoms. It's just demons fighting them to go back. What you call the hangover is the demon of alcoholism calling you back. Saying, come back, we are missing you. Come back home, we are missing you. So remember this narrow door. Make every effort to enter. Every effort. Every single effort. You make it. Do not conceal hatred by lying lips. We must pray. Listen to verse 26. No, verse 25. I have stirred up one from the north, and he comes. One from the rising sun, who calls on my name. He treads on rulers as if they were mortar, as if they were potter treading the clay. Who told you of this from the beginning? So we could know, or beforehand, so we could say he was right. No one told us of this. No one foretold this. No one had any words from you. I was the first to tell Zion, Look, here they are. I gave to Jerusalem a messenger of good news. Verse 28. I look, but there is no one. No one among the gods to give counsel. No one to give answer when I ask them. Verse 29. See, they are all false. Their deeds amount to nothing. And their images are but wind and confusion. Isaiah 29. Beloved, as we conclude the reading of the word, I want to mention this. No matter your storm, no matter your situation, I want you to pray. I want you to talk to God. Do not be silent. Do not say, God, how comes I have been praying and you have not? No, don't complain. Don't complain. Don't. Don't allow complain. Do not condemn yourself either. Do not compare yourself. You don't. In the storm. Don't say, you see how the other one was sick and then you healed him, Lord, and now me, I'm sick and you have not healed me. No. Don't compare yourself in the storm. Don't condemn yourself in the storm. This is a day. This is a time. The lion. Open over my health. 
Open over my car. Open over my assets. Open, Lord. Provide, my Lord. I call on your name. Release funds for me on Monday, Lord. Release fuel for me on Monday, Lord. Release every kind of thing required. Release it, my Father. Let nothing be stopped. Let nothing be held back. Business, let it flow. Come on, pray. Pray. Pray for yourself. Talk to God. My Lord, my Father. Arise, my Lord. Arise, 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 my Father. Arise, my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Arise, my Lord. Arise, my Father. on this WhatsApp number 0722 087 -087. if you want me to pray with understanding about what send your prayer request drop it in the inbox I will see it we pray for the salvation of Sylvia in the name of Jesus here in Australia, Father, we pray for the salvation of Sylvia. Save this, your daughter. Save her, Lord. Save her, Lord. Save her. Scatter every planting of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, disconnect her from evil soul ties. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray against every power of water spirits. Binding our finances in the waters. Caging our health in the waters. Catching wickedness in our hearts. Lord, break those prisons of wickedness that are in our hearts where we have harbored hatred, bitterness, anger, fits of rage, sexual immorality, evil desires. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, welcome to the temple of my heart. If there is anything there apart from prayer, overturn those tables. Roar, my Lord. Roar, Lion of Judah. Roar. Yes, work on us. Work on me. Work on me. Lord, I'm imperfect. I am totally imperfect. Lord, I need you to work on me. In this season, Lord, help my speech. Help what I think. Give me possibility thinking, possibility thinking, possibility thinking. Open the heavens for me, Lord. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, come upon us. I want us to pray that the Lord will help us broaden our scope. That the Lord will help us broaden our scope in Him. That we will not just look at it and say, I'm a worship leader. I am, I do this in the church. I only do this. Mm -mm. Allow the Holy Spirit to function within you. To destroy strongholds overturn and overturn and overturn tables that are not of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
George, 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 God bless you. My sister Irene, God bless you. Shine his light upon you. Hallelujah. Allow me to speak a blessing over you. We must end the broadcast. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for giving us this time to pray. I thank you for giving us the capacity to wait in you, in your presence. Lord, now I speak a blessing over everyone watching these videos for the support that they have been able to give by watching together with us and praying. Lord, I pray that their lives will not be the same. That you, the work you're doing in me, you will multiply it. Lord, I pray for my sister Charity who is not in this broadcast. We pray for her, Lord. We empower her. May you empower her. Remember Pastor Julia in Geneva. Remember them that are there. Father, we pray for the family in Geneva. We pray over, over Connie. We thank you for Robert. We thank you, my Father God, even for um, Dr. Liz. We thank you, my Father God, uh, for Millicent and Evans. Remember this couple, Lord. May your hand be upon them. May you bring salvation to them. And may your favor continue to shine your light in their families, Lord. We remember Sandra in Australia. We thank you, Lord, even for the people that you have connected us around the world. For even our sister Eva in the UK, we thank you, Father, for our sister Elizabeth um, Wanjiro, my father in the UK. Bless her, surround her with your favor, Lord. Remember her in every category, my father. We pray, King of Glory, for Rose Wasam. We pray for uh, musician Agi Wagem Mugeni. Lord, we pray for these servants of the Lord around the world. We thank you that you are establishing them for you. Now, my Lord. It is for freedom that you set us free. And we stand against any power that is assembled against this prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is assembled against this prayer, let it scatter in the name of Jesus. There will be no counter-attack to these prayers. There will be no weapon fashioned against us that shall prosper after these prayers. Because our God is with us. Father, provide for Mission Monday. Let it be bountiful, even as we go to Ngong tomorrow. May your blessings be upon us. May your favor be upon us. May your joy be complete in us. Lord, may you give me the strategy you want me to use, even as I go for this way. Lord God, may your hand be upon us. May your victory be with us. And may you give us another time to come and pray, as you have given us this day. To us, the Lion of Judah, to roar.
in the realm of the spirit there is exchange breakthrough unlimited in Jesus name Amen I will see you in the next video Shalom